Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer here for part 2 of the first trial for the Champions Tournament. I guess we got 11 more combatants here testing their skills in this trial. So we won't dilly dally, we'll get on, we'll pick up where we left off from part 1. So, coming up next, we have Xeno Slick Goku with a Uoplocephalus. Here Xeno's opponent shall be... Ooh, a tough ass that could be going up against Pachycephalosaurus. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Monsieur Zeno, we have got you up the Cephalus. Bing, bing, do, 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 do. Interesting, not, not much to say, but this guy really likes using you up the Cephalus. That's all I'll say. But it is going to be tough because the challenger is the Pachycephalosaurus, the champion of the secret showdown tournament, <laughs> the Thai specialist. So yeah, it's not going to be easy for Zeno, not going to be easy. Oh, that's a tie. Is the Thai combo in effect there from the Pachycephalosaurus? Oh, and it's the first hit as well, and the tiebreaker. Badoosh. Not a good start for Zeno, but a good start for the Pachycephalosaurus. Ties will do Zeno, no good. Nor will that. Another hit from the Pachycephalosaurus and a dominant start. Come on, Zeno, get your act together. Okay, oh well. As I said, there's that tie combo playing out. Zeno really needs to get the next hit. Oh, and he doesn't. The Pachycephalosaurus dominates and Uoplocephalus goes down with relative ease. And that, unfortunately for Zeno, will be no points and no success from this trial. Hmm, a brutal, brutal trial that was for Zeno. Very unfortunate. Okay, up next we have a newcomer to my tournaments, the Pivar, coming in with an Anata Titan. Interesting, we've had a lot of newcom I've had a lot of newcomers for this tournament. Ooh, are we gonna get a grass matchup or is it gonna be Pachycephalosaurus? Ooh, it's Pachycephalosaurus again. Right then. For the Pivar, we have got a Nata Titan. Like I said, a newcomer in my tournaments. At least I think they are, but I've never seen them before. So I'm assuming they're newcomers, but, you know, a lot of people like to change their usernames between tournaments, so it's hard to tell, really. But I'm pretty sure this guy's new. We'll see how they fare in their debut match. It's going to be a tough one, though, going up against this Pachycephalosaurus, as, well, Zeno can relate to that. Taking on a Pachycephalosaurus, never easy. But we'll say good luck to the newcomer. Oh, that's a hit. The Pachycephalosaurus getting the first hit again. God, can, so can, it can someone at least hit this thing? Oh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Not a good debut so far for the Pivar. But an Emerald Garden might be what they need to turn this around. And indeed they do get it off. Could that be a turning point? Sapping away the Pachycephalosaurus's life energy. Healing himself up as well. <clears throat> and pretty much leveling things out. Oh, that's a tie, but we saw in the Xeno match, ties do favour the Pachycephalosaurus. It is a tie specialist. Oh, that's a crit, and that's probably going to be lethal. Oh, it's not. Pivar are clinging on here. But a tie will do it for the Pachycephalosaurus. Can Pivar just get that one hit that will get him points in this trial? Ooh, they might... Oh, no, the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker is going to stop the Pachycephalosaurus taking damage. And it is another unsuccessful trial. Oh, wow. So two out of two defeats so far, guys. You need to step up. Up next, we have... Ooh, coming in with Terry. 
Let's see if Ur can do better than the first two guys did. Right, let's see who Ur will be facing. Oh, not Pac... Okay, it's not Pac Etephalosaurus. Ooh, it could be Mapusaurus Seji. Ooh, interesting. All right, Ur, I have complete faith that you will succeed in this trial. And representing Ur, as you can see here, we have Terry. And Terry will have type advantage over the Sejuangasaurus, so that could be key for Ur here to succeed in this trial. Come on, Ur, I have complete faith in you. And if you fail this trial, then you're probably not going to qualify for this tournament. <laughs> but no, no, I, I feel like Ur's going to do well here. Good matchup, oh, the best possible matchup going up against Sejuangasaurus. But do not underestimate this purple pest. It did win the Wicked Wind Tournament by defeating some very top-tier dinos. You know, it's, it's not to be underestimated, even with type disadvantage. Well, let's not forget what a Sejuangosaurus did to an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus in my previous tournament. For your dino hug, you're av still having nightmares over this guy. Ooh, that's a crit. And a cyclone to boot. Good start from the Seji. But the magma blast. Oh, it's a cyclone effect. Another crit from the Seji. And this is a very good start. And Ur needs to get going. Go on, Ur. Okay, that's a tie. No cyclone this time, though. Well, I'm determined to get off a rock. Oh, a scissors. Are we going to have a tie but fast? Ooh, Sejuan gets another hit. And Ur just can't get a hit on the board. And that is not good either. That's a cyclone. Wow, Ur, even though it's a favourable matchup, could come away from this trial empty-handed. As a tie. Oh, it's a cyclone effect. Somehow... Wow. Wow, wow. You guys are having really... You guys are not doing very well this video. <laughs> right, up next we have Dino Hunter, who finished... Who finished third in my previous tournament, their highest finish. They've been in practically all my tournaments. So I suspect they will fare well in this tournament. Well, based, based on this video so far, Dino Hunter's probably going to face Spinosaurus and get smoked. Ooh. Or not. The mini tournament champions have been very dominant so far in this video. Right, let's see if Dino Hunter fares better. We got a Gigodontosaurus. It'll have type advantage over the Sejuangosaurus, but well, that didn't help Terry, did it? Right, here's the purple predator, the fire killer specialist, the Sejuangosaurus. Will it, will it have another successful victory over a fire dinosaur? Or will the Giganontosaurus restore a bit of pride to the fire types? <laughs> that last matchup was crazy. I thought Ur had it in the bag. Oh, it's a tie. Well, the Dino Hunter doesn't have heat eruption and the Seiji doesn't have sonic blast, so... Oh, oh my, oh my god. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Another Cyclone. Why is Sejuangosaurus so good? Oh, ooh. hold on a minute. Dino went again a hit on the board and with a type advantage. That's going to do a lot of damage as Blazing Spin, a light recovery to come. Maybe Dino Hunter will be the first combatant in this video to succeed this trial. Well, they've just assured themselves points. And well, they've already got points on the board for doing well in my last tournament. But I don't think they'll have enough to qualify yet if they pass this trial. I'll have to double check how many points I gave them. I think I gave them like two. So yeah, actually, if they do succeed, they will qualify. And they're getting, well, they're getting at least two points from this trial. 
Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Sejuanosaurus not beaten yet, another Cyclone to come as well. Which means Dino Hunter will have to secure the next hit here. Or else the Seji's gonna get it. Oh, that's a Magma Blaster, that'll do it. Surely that'll do it. It probably would one-shot the Seji, let's be honest. But that will do it for Dino Hunter. And they, be the, they become the first participant in this session to succeed this trial and secure a maximum of five points. Okie dokie, up next we got another newcomer here, I think. Witcho Falls, coming in with an Alpha Ranosaurus against. So it'll be Alpha Ranosaurus going up against. Ooh, is it going to be Seji? I think it's going to be Seji. This random wheel is not very random, is it? Right then. For Witcho, representing Witcho Falls in the red corner, we have got Alpha Ranosaurus. I'm not sure, not sure how this guy's gonna do in this trial, because this Aranosaurus will have type disadvantage against the Seji. And well, the Sejuang has been a pretty, has been a purple powerhouse so far. Only now are we losing to Dino Hunter, am I right? We had a fire dinosaur. So yeah, this is, yeah, I'll just skip this, because we got this guy like three times in a row. <laughs> this will be interesting. Ooh, good start from the Aranosaurus there. Ooh, but the Dino Illusion's been triggered. Sejuanosaurus responds with a hit of his own, but that type of advantage... Oh, wow, look at that. That type of advantage is an absolute killer for the Sejuanosaurus. The Emerald Garden has been triggered, though, so Witcho Falls can recover from this. Oh, actually, I'm not sure. Oh, I wanted to play it out, to be honest. I want to see if the Dino Illusion would have cancelled out the Emerald Garden. Oh that's, oh, that's not good. That's probably going to be lethal. With the type of advantage, yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Quick as a wink, the Purple Predator dispatches Aranosaurus. Out for Aranosaurus. And unfortunately for Witcho Falls, is a bruising defeat in this trial. Right, up next we have Tyrant King. Coming in with a Super Triceratops. See who the Super Trike will face. Ooh, we got an all lightning clash between Super Trike and Alpha Chasmosaurus. Right then, representing Tyrant King, we have Super Triceratops Awaken Mode on 3. So we might see some Awaken action for the first time in this tournament. It'll be a tough ass though, in the blue corner. We have an Alpha Chasmosaurus standing in Tyrant King's way. That counter blitz could be a problem. It has caused problems for some of the participants of the face this beast in this trial. That's a four. Ooh, good start from the trike. Getting the first hit on the board early on, I guess, once. Ooh, but the Chasmo responds with a crit. Oh, that's a tie. Chasmosaurus does have the slight lead with the looks of it. Ooh, not for long. Oh, ooh, oh, oh, it's Final Thunder, they get ready. <laughs> uh, scissors, scissors. Well, that will almost certainly take the Chasmosaurus' HP below half. I don't think it'll be lethal, though, because the damage for this move is set. Will Counter Blitz get triggered? Because that would be interesting if Counter Blitz did get triggered. Well, it's a weakening time anyway. And Tyrant King securing the two points there. But can they secure the win? Odds are well in their favour now. Yep, there it is. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy for the Tyrant King. And now it's five beautiful points on the board.
well done. Our next combatant is Addy Rex, coming, making her debut in my tournaments as well. Coming in with an Orinoceratops. Right, let's see who Orinoceratops' opponent will be. Ooh, the Pachycephalosaurus going to make a return. Yes, it is. <laughs> right, representing Team Addy, we have a Rhinoceratops. Don't see that. Don't see this guy often in my tournaments. And if we do, it's when I'm using it for a bot team, because nobody else uses it. Standing in its way, however, is the type specialist Pachycephalosaurus. Not going to be easy, this. This Pachycephalosaurus, has, I think, has defeated everyone that's fa at the face in this trial so far. I don't think it's actually lost. So yeah, not going to be easy for Addy. Oh, well, ties don't really help. That'll help though. That's a first hit from the Orinoceratops. Attack boost coming in as well, which will certainly help. Ooh, but that won't help though. A crit from the Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, that's a tie. That's not good. Needs to get a crit on the board. There's another tie. I don't even think it's going to get Pachycephalosaurus below half at this point. Great. Oh, that's a hit. The Pachycephalosaurus proving too strong. And unfortunately, it is above half health. So Addy will be walking away from this trial empty handed. Wow. Pachycephalosaurus added another kill to its notch. That didn't make any sense. Okay, next up we have Hedy coming in with a T-Rex. Another T-Rex will be up against probably Spinosaurus. No, it won't be. It'll be going up against Armatus. Ooh. Right then, representing Hedy in the red corner, we got a T-Rex. Hedy looking to succeed in this trial. He's using a pretty strong dinosaur for this trial, so I'm sure they'll be expecting to win. T-Rexes usually do well in my tournaments, get lots of hits, lots of damage. They'll be tough though. Representing, well, the, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what to call the opposition team, but standing in Tyrannosaurus's way, we have Armatus, the Earthshaker's champion. I think, like Pachycephalosaurus, I think Armatus has defeated every dinosaur he's faced in this trial. No, I think it has lost. I have to double check. I know Pachycephalosaurus is undefeated, and I think it's the only one to be undefeated. Oosh. And that probably makes sense, since it's pretty much the strongest dinosaur you could face in this trial. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. The Tyrannosaurus getting ahead. It's a fire cannon. Good responses from Hedy. Not half health yet, though. Still needs another hit to assure points. Ooh, hang on a minute. That's a crit. Hedy might have just done it. But well, we all know about Tyrannosaurus's crit, don't we? And this is a burning dash, so this is probably going to be lethal. Yep, definitely lethal. Easy peasy for Hedy. And they succeed in the first trial. Which will set them up nicely to qualify for the last 16 round. That was quick, wasn't it? Keonte. I'm going to call you Keonte, okay? We have Keonte coming in with another T-Rex. And, and going up against this T-Rex, we are going to have... Mapusaurus, by the looks of it. Ooh, Mapusaurus. The fire champion. Right, representing Keonte in the red corner, we have a T-Rex. Well, we just saw Hedy have some easy success with a T-Rex. I'm sure Keonte will be hoping for the same. Although, slightly different moveset. Has Net Crusher instead of Burning Dash. 
standing in the T-Rex's way though is the apex of the fire dinosaurs, the Mapusaurus. And an apex just in general. <laughs> Hello Mapusaurus. This won't be easy here. Ooh, that's a tie. Although, with such low technique, I doubt we'll see heat eruption yet. Unless the Makusaurus gets some hits on the board. Ooh. Well, that's exactly the start the T-Rex wants. A neck crusher. A crit. Two points secured. Kionte couldn't have asked for a better start there. Can they finish the job, though? Another tie. Don't think Macrosaurus is getting a hit. Oh, correction. Macrosaurus is getting a hit. Although, heat eruption won't, isn't a threat anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot this T-Rex got death fire. But like I said, Mac heat eruption is no threat anymore because the Macrosaurus' HP is too low. But it all comes down to this. The odds are in Keontae's favour. So let's see if he can take advantage of that odd. Ooh, finishing him with a death fire. This T-Rex winning with style. Lagging my computer while, while in the process of killing Mapusaurus with a death fire. And it's well played by Keontae. Following Hedy's footsteps and passing the first trial with a T-Rex. Okay, up next we have our visitor from Pandora. We have the Navi Flyer coming in with a Gygus. And Gygus will be going up against... Ooh, that's a good matchup for Navi Flyer. That's a Sejuangosaurus. Okie dokie, representing Team Navi Flyer, we have Gygus. Gygus with the Spectral Armor. But like I said, we're probably not going to see the Spectral Armor in this match. Especially since it's going up against Sejuangosaurus as well. So a very promising matchup here for Navi Flyer. Can they take advantage of it? We'll skip Seji because we've seen him a few times in this session. Well, this would be one hell of a scout if Sejuangosaurus pulls this off. Um, they've got a crit. But yeah, look at that. Even a crit does minuscule damage. Does have the cycle? No, so... Oh, oh my god, oh my god. I think I've just jinxed this guy, haven't I? <laughs> okay, that's a tie. It's got heat eruption. Let's not forget the guy just does have heat eruption. Another tie. Yeah, the heat eruption. Could this be what Nahi Flyer needs to just get back in this contest? It's been a very sluggish start from the guy just. Boosh, 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 boosh. Like <laughs> they all miss. Volcano burst effect, and that will take Seji's he health below half. So that guarantees Navi Flyer at least two points from this trial, should they fail. But they're not going to fail, and let's be honest, was it ever in doubt? This burning dash will dash the hopes of the Sejuangosaurus claiming another scalp. And it is, well, after a stuttery start, relatively straightforward from the Gygus. And that's five juicy points for Navi Flyer. Right, our last combatant for this session is Kaz, and they are coming in with an Acrocanthosaurus. Right, let's see what the Acro will be taking on. Oh, we haven't had spy. Oh, it's going to be Kazmo. Yep gonna be Alpha Chasmosaurus. Okie dokie then, representing Kaz, we have Acrocanthosaurus, the OG. The underrated dinosaur to be honest, because everyone just raves about its Alpha version. Which, you know, you know, I'll admit, it's pretty cool, but come on, give the OG some love. It deserves it. Well, one dinosaur that will show it zero love will be this Alpha Chasmosaurus. Looking to stamp its dominance in this match. Will that count the blitz? K 
Kaz will have to be careful here. But the Alpha, the Acro does have Death Fire. Bear that in mind, and it does have the Heat Eruption. So yeah, pretty solid dinosaur. And it gets the first hit on the board. Ooh, as a crit. That crit is probably, yeah. Wow, is this this could be quick. Can can Kaz finish the job? Oh, um, well that was quick. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And well done to Kaz for probably the easiest win that anyone has got so far. <laughs> Poor Kazmosaurus didn't even get a hit. Didn't even damage it. Right, and that will conclude that will conclude part two. So yeah, another even split again, again like part one. Six of you succeeding and five of you not succeeding. So yeah, you guys had a shaky start at the beginning, but definitely picked it up there with four successes in a row. And I'm sure, given the fact that Mastration is going to be up next, it's probably going to be five. And yes, I should mention that Dino Hunter does in fact have enough to qualify for the last 16. So they will be joining Nirvan in the last 16 round. But anyway, that's for part three. We're talking about part two. So yeah, in interesting. More of you are doing a succeeding than failing. So trial three, trials two and three could be vitally important here to rack up points particularly trial two and i will see you for part three where we conclude the first trial and until then ta-ta